April 10th, 2021. And for me, another day of social distancing. Hope that you and your family and friends and loved ones are doing well. Staying home and staying safe and uh, getting the vaccine if you're eligible. Um, yeah, so no getting around this. Um, recording this video on one of my rough days. Ending a rough week. And um, I can't say I've recorded a video like this in a while. I think probably the last time I was in the hospital. It was um, after I had my seizure. And I don't even remember recording those videos. But I had the presence of mind to do that. Um, okay, so this week began, I had um, a swollen lip. It started Monday afternoon. Went through Monday night into Tuesday and um, you know the one good thing is, I mean it's not good at all the pandemic isn't good about the pandemic is that wearing a mask is not something that's unusual so um, prior to me being diagnosed with lupus I want to say maybe a month or two before being diagnosed I had swelling noticeable swelling in my face uh, even before that it was months before that I had, but it's when I was a manager and um, and the swelling would happen in the, in the daytime I would wear a mask and you know just trying to pretend I was fighting off germs from people I was just trying to stay safe it's very odd behavior but anyway Monday I wore a mask even on our um, virtual calls at home but you know it didn't feel unusual nobody questioned it I told some of my co-workers that I'd be doing it so it wasn't a big deal and um, went through most of the week in a lot of um, pain joint pain and now I have sort of an ear to ear thing going on having a hard time hearing I remember having this uh, previously uh, signs of lupus and um, again on Friday or well, Thursday night leading into Friday I had a swollen lip a different place and that you know reminded me of the time that you know before I went to the hospital and uh, was ultimately, ultimately diagnosed with lupus back in 2019 May 2019 I'm coming up on a two-year diagnosis doesn't mean that when I was diagnosed that's when I had it I mean I had it previously but it was just determined that I had it or found out that I had it when I was in the hospital near death and um, so you know that happened this week and then I woke up this morning with a low grade fever I had some stomach aches throughout the week and um, and it's not like I miss a dose of my medications I take my medications um, I don't want to say religiously. I take I take them every day. I uh, don't think I've skipped even one dose in the two years that I've been diagnosed. So you know the medications I'm taking are is keeping my immune system at bay for the most part. But you know when I have um, other factors that affect that, you know I end up in a place like this. So um, <clears throat> it's frustrating. Because unless you, you know you live, if unless you have a chronic illness or if you're dealing with something similar to it, you don't really understand what's going on mentally and physically with that person. And I see it, I get it. the The best time that I have, or the most comfortable times that I have, is alone. Not because I, I don't want to be around people. It's because people don't understand this. Um, in the past few weeks, I've attended virtual conferences people who have lupus I think one of the conferences they had about 14,000 people online watching the um, different doctors speak about things a lot of things that I've heard before um, some things about medications coming out for in particular lupus and nephritis that have been FDA approved um, and I you know we're, we have a chat session where we're able to type in a box and people are sharing their stories and, and hear a lot of similar things about being hospitalized multiple times and how frustrating it is to have their friends and family and not understand what they're going through and um, that's, the, that's the reason I stay isolated quite a bit I push people away and um, I've just gotten used to being alone and when I'm alone you know sometimes I have swelling in my eyes and my lips and 
um, uh, in, in that alone time, what I've been doing lately is studying, you know, trying to get my designations. And um, this month, um, a little bit behind, I'm on chapter three. I'm going to try to do two more chapters this weekend. I'm, I'm sorry, two chapters this weekend. And then I have a, a test that I have to take. Anyway, I've got three different modules. I finished the first module this weekend. And uh, if I do it right, I'll be finished um, all three by the end of the month. It's a very difficult course. It's about accounting. I, I hate accounting. It's just not something that's interesting to me. But, you know, if it were a profession, it, I'm mean, sorry, for my profession, then I probably would enjoy it more. But anyway, you know, uh, going back to what it feels like to have lupus, it feels like I'm in a fight every day almost where a boxer is just punching me in the face. And it was like my arms are tied behind my back, and there was nothing I could do about it. And um, I'm, as best I can, I'm trying to be strong. And, um, you know, I know I'm strong. I, I, I have strength, you know, that gifts. That's one of my gifts. I didn't realize that until having to deal with the past couple of years and being knocked down and having to get back up and to rebuild my finances and to actually, you know, strengthen areas in my budgeting that. I didn't even consider as well as planning for retirement, uh, planning for leaving this earth, you know, having um, directives and things like that, you know, stuff I thought about before. But, you know, when I had the huge life changes, it is something that I really had to implement. And the one good thing about, you know, working from home, at least, is, you know, work my regular nine to five uh, before work, I'm studying. After work, I'm studying, and on the weekends, I'm studying. I have the energy because I'm not in traffic. And um, I've noticed that's been one of the benefits about being locked at home. Uh, something that really frustrated me this week was I heard a story, it's probably Friday, and it said um, there's been cases where the vaccine hasn't been as effective for those who are immunocompromised. And, uh, you know, I said, oh, man, okay, that's fantastic. You know, I'm about to get my second dose next Thursday. And I said, okay, two weeks, I should be fine, right? And then that just kind of set me back and said, well, maybe I have to live like I have been for a, a little while longer until more people are vaccinated and they, and this is no longer a pandemic. So I don't know what that's going to look like. Um, um, I celebrated my 10-year anniversary recently, back in February. And as part of that, we were able to pick out gifts, um, or yeah, pick gifts off of a website, and uh, they had a couple of things to choose from. You could get a grill, you could get uh, a watch, a bracelet, you can get tumblers, stuff like that. Well, what I decided to get is a new suitcase. And you could kind of see it behind me. There was a yellow cloth on it, but it's a gold um, traveling. Um, I'm sorry, suitcase that has wheels underneath. Um, and I decided to get it because I see it as a goal of mine to be able to to travel. But I'm not sure when. I'm not sure when that's going to happen now. I'm not sure if there's going to be, um, from what I've been reading, there's not really a test that tells you if you're fully safe from um, COVID, you know, show the presence of antibodies. But even still, if I were to catch that, there was a chance I can get very sick and die. And I'm just very real about it, you know. I've been in a position where I'm in bed 145 pounds and on oxygen, high oxygen, the highest oxygen for a period of time and um, getting stuck with needles, getting medications pumped into my body and getting MRIs and procedures and all these things. And, you know, I'm very, very real about um, what it is to deal with health crisis and so um, you know to to even think that that you know COVID would make somebody that sick and possibly die it's not out of the realm of possibility you know it's, that's that's been proven to happen so um, you know I've noticed lately I've, I've just be, become um, less censored and, you know, just, you know, speaking my mind and, you know, the videos that I'm doing, of course, is really, it's just my way of being able to talk over things because throughout the week, um, from time to time, I you know, bring up stuff to my coworkers, but for the most part, I'm keeping it to myself. And when I log off the computer, when I 
have dinner. I'm ready for bed. You know, if I don't if I don't study that evening. This week it was just pretty much in bed as soon as I could get to bed. And um, anyway, tomorrow I'm gonna go out early. I've got a couple errands that I need to run. Hopefully I'm filling up to it. We've got some nasty weather coming through here today, so I'm gonna um, put this together this video. Sometimes the videos take two to three hours to get edited. Like this part right here is easy. Just record and match up the audio and things like that. But then there's the, you know, the animation at the beginning of the videos and splicing it and things like that. So if it just takes a minute, you have to render the video. It's not just like, okay, here I'm gonna put a video together, boom, put it out there. I could do that, yeah, I could do it. No intro, no outro, no music, nothing. Just post, post the vlog and that probably be more real. As a matter of fact, I might do that Monday through Friday, just post a video, like where, where my head's at. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, I've got to get going. I've got a lot of work to do. Um, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, and um, share with your friends and family. And uh, hope you all are doing well. I will see you in the next video. Take care.